Normally, there'd be crowds of tourists taking camel rides around the pyramids, one of the seven wonders of the world just outside Cairo. Giza is on every visitor's itinerary, but recently, the tourists have been staying away. There are still quite a few guests left in the holiday resorts on the Red Sea, but once they're gone, tourism in Egypt will have all but dried up. It's one of the country's main industries, attracting over 12 million visitors a year. One million of them come from Germany. Egypt is the biggest overseas market for the Steigenberger hotel chain, not only since the German company was bought by an Egyptian tourism corporation. Steigenberger owns four large hotels on the Red Sea. We've seen 50% of our booking cancelled. Understandably, tour operators have put all their flights to Egypt on hold until mid-February. But we're confident that tourism will get back up to speed relatively quickly, as soon as this dramatic political situation starts to ease, and as soon as a solution is found. Not only the tourist industry has been hard hit. Germany exports some 2.7 billion euros worth of goods to Egypt every year, with a share of these entering the country through the Suez Canal. Germany's main trade partner in the region is Saudi Arabia. But in recent years, it's also boosted trade ties to other countries in North Africa, especially in the automobile and energy sectors. Work in the BMW factory in Cairo was temporarily suspended because of the protests, but it's been business as usual for the last few days. The German car maker has outsourced some of the manufacturing process to Egypt because it's cheaper. Wages here are lower than in China. BMW sells some 3,000 cars a year in Egypt. Home to a population of 80 million, the country is currently witnessing rapid growth. Back in Berlin, Volker Treyer from the German Chamber of Commerce and Industry is keeping in contact with members in Cairo. For a number of reasons, he doesn't expect to see German companies pulling out of Egypt. The Egyptian market is an exciting one right now, and it's very centrally located. The foundations have been well laid, and no one is going to want to walk away now. They're waiting to see what happens, and some companies actually think that the protests will provide Egypt with an opportunity to finally realize its full potential, and the economic growth will benefit everyone and not just a select few. The unrest is deeply rooted in social problems. The engineering company Uda moved into Egypt years ago, building one chemical plant after another. Egypt has plenty of natural gas reserves, but for the time being everything's on hold and all anyone can do is wait.